Ambach! Ambach! Oh, Harris! Funny shines! Wherever I go, all I see is this clock staring back at me. No good in funerals. Marley wouldn't have approved himself. Waste of money. <laughs> Waste of time. Everyone out. Who are you? Head of the BBC. That was a twist. Get out! All right. Plan B it is. <laughs> Coats. Yes. You said I'd be taking over a Scrooge. No, I'm playing Scrooge. That's why I got the nose. You're playing the ghost of Christmas yet to come. He doesn't have any lines. The cast said they'd walk if you played Scrooge. What the whole cast? I'm the leading actor. No, you're the worst actor in the company. But Auntie Diana, you promised. Just hurry up. Well, you'll have to do it over the phone then. Annie, Annie, what? what? I can't remember any of my lines. Again? It's the nerves. Come with me. What if you become ill? I won't. What if you get injured? I would have to be completely incapacitated to pull out now. <laughs> really? Good evening, BBC viewers. Unfortunately, the cast of The Christmas Carol have all been taken ill. But don't, right no, you get off my right microphone, Mike. But don't worry, the Corny Polytechnic Drama Society happen to be passing by and will be filling in with special guest narrator, Sandra's aunt, Dame Diana Rigg. Please enjoy A Christmas Carol. of his burial was signed by the solemn undertaker and, of course, the only mourner, his partner, Mr. Scrooge. Christmas Eve, Scrooge walked into his counting house. He was a tight-fisted hand on the grindstone, a squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scraping, covetous old sinner who was as hard as flint. The weather was biting, but cold and heat had little influence on Scrooge. No warmth could warm him. 
No wintry weather could chill him. No wind that blew was bitterer than he. There was not a man, woman, or child in London who chose to walk close to Scrooge in the street. Get out! Get out! But as long as he was able to go about his business with thrift and count his coins, what did Scrooge care? Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. Uncle, God save you. Ah, humbug. Christmas? A humbug? Uncle, oh, you don't mean that, I'm sure. I do, Francis. What's Christmas but another time to find yourself a year older and not an hour richer? Oh. Every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled with his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. Oh. Wipe that stupid smile from your face. I have every reason to smile, Uncle, and make merry at this time of year. What reason have you to be merry? You're poor enough. What reason have you to be dismal? You're rich enough. What else can I be while I live in such a world of fools as this? Why is one a fool for wishing her uncle a merry Christmas? Because it does you no good. Does me no good. It is the one time in the long calendar of the year where men and women can open their shut-up hearts freely and hold out their hands to those below them as their true companions. Fine speech, Francis. You belong in Parliament. Christmas, Uncle, though it has never put a scrap of gold in my pocket, has done me good and will do me good, and I say God bless you. Miss Francis! Pleasure it is to see you. Oh, Merry Christmas, Bob Cratchit. <laughs> a Merry Christmas to you, too. We hear a knock at the door. <laughs> oh! A knock at the door. Oh, that must be the lovely couple raising money for the orphanage. What merry, bold, and charitable souls they are. <laughs> Have I the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Mr. Marley died seven years ago this very day. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We are raising money for the orphanage to care for the sickly and make provision for the poor, like young Jane here. On the shelf, Bugsworth. Yes, Mr. Scrooge. Ah, oh, Merry Christmas, Miss Francis. And to you. <laughs> ah, let me help you, Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll step in. I'm fine! Come back! Get out, Buxworth! <laughs> what shall I put you down for, Mr. Scrooge? Nothing. You wish to be anonymous. <laughs> I wish to be left alone and keep my money. What would you want for the needy? That they should die and decrease the surplus population. I have not much in my coin purse. Fear not, Mr. Cratchit. You are poorer than most. But what little I have, you are welcome to. I'm afraid there is only a single penny I have saved. You would part with your only coin. <laughs> yes. Do you not need it for your family? No. Thank you, Mr. Cratchit. You'd give all you have to charity. No. No? You don't want to give to charity? Yes. Are you sure? No. You have to make a choice. Make a choice. Will you give them the coin? Yes. Thank you. This bag was made in China. You, Jane, may the generosity of the goodly people of London Town keep you merry this Christmas. <laughs> uh, uh, merry Christmas, Miss Frances. Merry Christmas, Mr. Cratchit. And to you. <laughs> Don't be cross, Uncle. Say you'll come and dine with us tomorrow. Oh, 
Francis. I shall spend Christmas alone. Kindly keep Christmas in your own way and let me keep it in mine. Keep it? But you don't keep it. Let me leave it alone, then. Very well, Uncle. If you change your mind, you have our address. tomorrow, I suppose. If it's quite convenient, sir. It's not convenient, Bob Cratchit. Christmas comes but once a year. Look outside at the people <laughs> going about their business with glee. This is not a time for money but for family. And mine would appreciate me home, sir. Spare me your foolish humbug, Cratchit. I... I... Uh, I... 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 Uh, I... I... I am not a rich man. <laughs> if I can spend Christmas with my family, I would be content to... No! <laughs> Upon a bone or sleep on a bed of warts. <laughs> Can't you take the whole day? <laughs> Oi, Selb! Bless you. Thank you. Humbug! <laughs> but be here all the earlier the next morning! Wang! Taken by the vision, went to search the rooms of his house for signs of an intruder. <laughs> Finding nothing untoward, he returned to his bedroom. Secure in the knowledge, the house was completely empty other than Scrooge.
Voltaire. Ebenezer Scrooge. Hamburg! What trickery is this? Who are you? In life, I was your partner, Jacob Marley. You don't believe in me? I do not. Why do you doubt your senses? Because uh, a little thing affects them. You may be an undigested bit of beef, a blot of mustard. There's, there's more of gravy than the grave about you. <laughs> goes not forth in life, it is condemned to do so after death. I am doomed to wander through the world and witness what I cannot share. I wear the chain I forged in life. I made it link by link and yard by yard. You must listen. My time is nearly gone. <laughs> oh, how I wish I could cast off these cursed chains. <laughs> I am made captive by my deeds. But like me, Scrooge, you have girded yourself a great chain which in time shall hang heavy around you. Stay away, vile spirit. I wish to see no more of you. Unlock the door. Be gone. Undo the bottom one. <laughs> you will be haunted by three spirits. <laughs> Without their visits, you cannot hope to shun the path I tread. Expect the first when the bell tolls one. Farewell, Scrooge. Scrooge. Scrooge was left alone again. He looked out through his window, which was locked shut undisturbed, just as it was before the ghost arrived. <laughs> Resolved to forget what he had experienced, Scrooge went to bed and blew out the light. Are you the spirit whose coming was foretold to me? I am. <laughs> Who and what are you? Come close and I shall tell you. <laughs> I am the ghost of Christmas past. I shine with the light of a thousand Christmases gone. I have never seen your like before. May I look closer? <laughs> By my light, you shall see the truth of your past. Take me in your hand, Scrooge. <clears throat> your past is hidden beyond these walls. Step through with me. I am mortal, spirit. I cannot. By my light, you shall. <laughs> this way, Mr. Scrooge. Oh. 
And with that, Scrooge and the spirit disappeared from his bedroom. Tip me, tip me, tip me, tip me. Have we disappeared? Yes. And Scrooge found himself soaring over open fields and woodland. Oh, unnatural spirit! Will I not fall? We shall not, Mr. Scrooge! Where are you taking me? My light shall show you the man you once were. Welcome to green screen one, two, three, where with just one click, you can be on a beach or at the Eiffel Tower. Overlay your own exciting footage. Yeah, I think Robert would make a great leading actor. Oh, come on. It's Ebenezer Scrooge, not Ebenezer Huge. I don't want to be dating Max anymore. When are you going to do it? After we finish Christmas Carol? Yeah. This is where Belle and I would court. And there we are. I'm sorry, Ebenezer. We cannot be together any longer. Why, my love? Another idol has displaced me that you love more. Who, who is this idol you speak of? There is no one else. The pursuit of wealth and gain engrosses you. I don't understand. You have grown hard and unfeeling. Like your partner, Mr. Marley. Please, don't leave me. Our contract is an old one, made when we were both poor. I can change. You are changed. When it was made, you were a different man. I release you with a heart full of love for the man you once were. Goodbye, my dearest. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye, my dear. Oh, spirit. Why do you delight in torturing me? Dry your tears, Ebenezer. You must to bed before the other spirits arrive. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry. <laughs> and just as Jacob Marley said, upon the stroke of two, Scrooge heard the merry sound of laughter. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Hello, Scrooge. Who are you, spirit? I am the ghost of Christmas present. I am cheer. I am joy. I am Christmas. <laughs> Come, and know me better, man. No, spirit. I have seen enough for one night. I cannot bear another heartbreak. I beg you, leave me be. Haunt me no longer. Humbug! Haunt me no longer. No, me, no, me! 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 Worry not, Scrooge. Your journey with me shall not be one of heartbreak, but of mirth. Now come. You look hungry. What is all this? Why, it is the bounty of Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! 
I don't believe you. You have merely come to feed me. Tell me, Spirit, the purpose of your visit. Each year you have shunned the present, but this year you will mark the lessons it holds. <laughs> Very well. Conduct me where you will. If you have aught to teach me, I shall listen and profit by it. Then follow me to the street, Scrooge. Show me something I may smile upon. <gasps> Jacoby! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's completely incompatible. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> right, come on, Jacoby. Uh, come down to the street, Scrooge, and see how the goodly people celebrate Christmas. A day where all mankind can forget their position and go about with glee and good tidings. Masters and servants, judges and scoundrels, landlords and lodgers can all make merry together and wish each other well. Do you recognize this house, Scrooge? Why, it is Bob Cratchit's house, for sure. Here comes his youngest, Tiny Tim, walking home. Ah, Tiny Tim, the sweetest, dearest boy that there ever was. <laughs> Scrooge, look through the window and observe how these humble folk live. How about the children clean up before we eat? What will we be having for Christmas dinner, Bob? <laughs> Bob? <laughs> A goose! Oh, Bob, you saved up for it. How wonderful! Anything for you, my sweet? A drop to drink. Oh, why, thank you. How was Tiny Tim at church? As good as gold and better. He told me, coming home, the old people saw him because he was a cripple, and it might be pleasant for them to remember upon Christmas Day who made lame beggars walk and blind men see. Enough wine for you, my dear. Plenty. <laughs> I pray for him every day. Here he comes now. Hello, Mama. <laughs> Tim, come here, my little boy. <laughs> Lift me in your arms, Papa. <laughs> we. Oh, Tim, you do look frail of late. I am frail. <laughs> frail and ill. A chew. I sell. <laughs> Sit up to the table, my little Tim. <laughs> oh, Mama! Now let us raise a glass to Mr. Scrooge, the founder of the feast. <laughs> of the feast indeed that hard unfeeling scoundrel is the cause of our suffering mr scrooge has not the kind family i have i pity him alone on christmas day we may be poor but we are rich in company eat father that is a wealth mr scrooge may never know <laughs> To Mr. Scrooge. The founder of the feast. God bless us! No. God bless us, everyone. A remarkable boy. Tell me, Spirit, if Tiny Tim will live. I see a vacant seat and a crutch without an owner. Did I really pay Bob so poorly? They have such a meager feast. But what a fine family they are. Tiny Tim, such a brave boy. Mrs. Cratchit, such a loyal and devoted woman. But they should get on with dying and decrease the surplus population, should they not? What more can you afford to pay? I don't only care about myself, do I? Come, there is more to see. Do you recognize this house, Scrooge? It belongs to my niece, Francis. 
There she is now. Oh, uh, oh dear. It looks like they've got the decorators in. I'm sure they'll be done any moment now. And there we are. They're done. <laughs> is it a vegetable? Not vegetable, no. Mineral, then? Not a mineral, which leaves you with... Animal. Quite so. <laughs> Alive? More or less. Oh, my dear Francis, why must you always be so cryptic? Is this animal disagreeable or friendly? Oh, disagreeable, for sure. Does it growl? Sometimes. <laughs> Is it found in England? It's found in London, Topper. A horse. No, but it says nay more than a horse does. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a pig? Is it a fox? Is this animal domesticated? Hardly. Francis, I know what it is. A disagreeable creature, but none of these. It is your uncle, Ebenezer Scrooge. It is! It is! Oh, bro! Oh, Topper! Oh! <laughs> a disagreeable creature. Is that what they think? And a growling one. But what does Scrooge care what these fools believe? I don't care. Indeed. More or less dead, hardly domesticated, or childish blabber. I care, perhaps, a little. The time has come for me to away and let in another spirit before Christmas Day. <laughs> Are you the ghost of Christmas yet to come? news that agent just called he's going to take me on <laughs> he said the exposure from Christmas Carol will easily get me that advert we'll never have to work with this bunch of freaks again <laughs> anyone will attend the old goat's funeral. He never gave a penny to charity. He stole from the poor. Selfish. Spirit, show 
me some tenderness connected with a death, or this dark conversation will be forever present to me. Sweet boy. <laughs> Why did you put him in the coffin? Well, how else am I supposed to keep him contained? Good Lord, I thought he'd never die. <laughs> <laughs> well, I certainly shan't miss him. All right. He was very unpopular. <laughs> are these the shadows of things that will be? Or are these shadows of things that may only be? Change the course of his life. Spirit, I. Spirit, I'm sorry. I have been greedy and selfish. I've served myself before others and shut out the gift of their kindnesses. I'm sorry to everyone. All of you. I've taken you all for granted. I thought I wanted to go it alone, but the truth is, I'd be lost without you. In fact, I believe I'm not feeling so well. I think I may be completely incapacitated. Scrooge. What? <laughs> I'm completely incapacitated, Mr. Scrooge. Chris, I, I don't know what to say. I couldn't. You have to. We're all counting on our lead actor. Chris, it, it's your part and you should finish it. I, I'm not going to take your role. Well, why don't we do it together? No, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Humbug! <laughs> come on, quickly, we'll finish this thing. Okay. Quickly, we'll go through. There we are, that's it, all right, underneath. There we are, come on, quickly. Oh, oh, Hurry up, oh, oh, heads oh, in oh, this way, on. up to the bedroom. Come on, quickly. Oh, Hurry up, there's still time. We can still make it work. Come on, quickly. Scrooge fell before the spirit and woke to find himself in bed. Good morning. I shall live in the past, present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. You there, child? What day is it? It's Christmas Day. Christmas Day! Oh, Jacob Marley, be praised! Wait there, for I must speak with you a moment. I shall have that girl run to the poulterers and fetch the plumpest bird she can find in the shop. Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas! A Merry Christmas to you, sir! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! To <laughs> one and all! <laughs> Excuse me, are you playing Scrooge? No, Chris is playing Scrooge. <laughs> I am not playing Scrooge. You took over a Scrooge. I only took over a Scrooge because you forced me to take over a Scrooge. I did not force you to take over a Scrooge. If anything, you forced me to play Scrooge by being such a bad actor. Nobody forced either of you to play Scrooge. You came here and took Scrooge from me by force. Stop fighting. Look, it doesn't matter who's playing Scrooge. That's what we've learned tonight. It's not what I've learned tonight. I've learned that it absolutely matters. <laughs> I am Scrooge. Get them out. No, no, Come no. Come on. No. 
It's over. No, get, Come get, on. get, 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 They're uh, using force. They're using force. No, no, Bob. Chris, understudy. I'm screwed. <laughs> Still filming, so uh, action. Uh, here's a better idea. Why don't we all go to the Polteris and fetch a goose? We shall take it to Bob Cratchit's house. <laughs> ding dong, merrily on high. Heaven and bells are ringing. Ding dong, merrily the sky. must search for the plumpest goose we can find. Uh, <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to Ah, no goose, then. <laughs> but very well, Bob Cratchit. If this is what you desire most, then it is what you shall have. For everyone at Christmas loves goosons. <laughs> Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Sorry, would you mind if we went ahead? Yes, I don't mind. <laughs> Greetings, good fellow. Hiya. I would like to purchase these fine goujons, please. It's three ninety nine, please. Does anyone have any money? Do, do you have any money? <laughs> no. I appear to have left my coin purse in my other britches. <laughs> if I don't have any money, I'll have to leave. Might you be able to open your heart to those in need at Christmas? No, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> Please, it's for the Cratchit suit. Please, we need them! I just take whatever you want. Take the money, it's fine. Really? We probably do job. Yeah, yeah, take them. Just don't hurt anyone. Yeah, yeah, back it up, yeah. <laughs> Doing it. Merry <laughs> hey, Christmas. Jingle bells. Give us the slickers. Take one yourself. What? Take one yourself! OK, OK. And, and this lady's shopping's free. Uh, yeah, whatever you say. OK. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Now, everyone, we shall return to Bob Cratchit's house and present him with the finest Christmas feast he's had in all his life. <laughs> We are travelling the town to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, that's nice. Might we enter and spread our joy to the fine town soaked within? Not with that pass. Oh, dear. That is a shame. We had hoped uh, we might be able to get back in the studio, but... Oh. That's the fire alarm. Um, if you could all just make your way out of the building and across the courtyard. Thank you, all of you. Uh, Will do. Now I'll get you a No, I'm here. Go round. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Bob. A merrier Christmas than I have given you in many a year. May I come in? Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Bob. I have come here to tell you that I intend to double your salary and shall endeavour to... Assist your struggling family. <laughs> to assist your struggling family. Tiny Tim shall walk again, and I shall keep Christmas in my heart. 
First, though, let us all have a Christmas dinner. What do you say, Bob? Yes. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, um, sorry, before we finish, there's something I'd like to say to Max. You're gonna break up with me on air. What's wrong with you? Break up with you? Yeah, I saw the video. You said you didn't want to be dating anymore. I don't want to be dating anymore. I want to be married. <laughs> to me? <laughs> yes, I, I had a whole plan. I, I was gonna propose. But, but I saw you kissing Chris. What? Yeah, I, th I thought we were friends. What are you doing? Look, I found something. Look, look at this. Oh! <laughs> Same dress. Right, Chris. Yeah. That's my sister. <laughs> you were going to propose? Yeah. Christmas again, all of you! It wasn't enough to ruin the production last year. Now you've sabotaged mine. So go on, get out of here. We are going to perform our version from the top now. But it's a proposal. But I don't care. I'm going to give my performance. The only chance you have of continuing is if I am completely incapacitated. <laughs> Come on, Derek, this is not about you. <laughs> oh, forget it. Ta da! <laughs> Thank you, Auntie Diana. <laughs> and so, as Tiny Tim observed. Please, God bless us. <laughs> God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Thank you.